you've made it! Welcome to the final video in this mini-series about ClamAV. If nothing else, I hope it's opened your eyes to another useful tool available to Malware Hunters and Blue Team members. If you've watched all five of the previous videos, thank you so much for your time. These videos have only briefly touched on what I consider the most useful and most easily accessible features of ClamAV. There are many other features. There are only two of these that bear mentioning, in my opinion. Those are bytecode signatures and Yara rules. Bytecode signatures are essentially C programs that you write to parse the content and return a result. These can do anything that you can code in C, so the sky is the limit. Needless to say, since they are C programs, you should be very cautious who you trust to get them from. There is an API and extensive documentation on the bytecode compiler GitHub repo. So if that is something of interest, feel free to take a look and extend the power of your ClamAV install using your own bytecode signatures. Additionally, ClamAV can use certain Yara rules natively, but there are a certain amount of Yara functionality that ClamAV doesn't support. That being said, you might wonder why you wouldn't use Yara instead of ClamAV entirely. Honestly, it all depends on your use case. At a certain scale, Yara is just slower, up to 30% depending on the situation. Additionally, Yara itself doesn't perform any normalization, meaning that every signature either needs to address multiple cases, or you need multiple signatures. This makes some signatures extremely difficult to make, especially in cases where you have mixed ASCII and multibyte characters or binary data. Additionally, Yara doesn't scan inside zip files or tar archives without an extension. Personally, I find clam signatures to be easier and more straightforward to write, but there are many more sources for Yara signatures, as it seems to be an almost default for IOC reports to include Yara signatures, and Yara does a more in-depth scan on certain binaries. Lastly, ClamAV has a dedicated team of people and automated processes creating new signatures for the tool, whereas Yara is only as good as the third-party signatures you use. And, as mentioned in the first video, ClamAV has a good, reliable set of third-party signatures as well. In the end, if you're just starting a new malware hunting process or looking to add a new tool to your toolbox, I would highly recommend giving ClamAV a try. Links are in the description below for more information. If you liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this series, hit subscribe, and have a great day.